Oh, God, this is going to be the worst episode. I am sick as fuck still. Oh, what a whiny bitch. And I'm with this asshole. <laughs> where, where? We got you our first guest. Me. Where I'm sick. Fucking shut up, dick. <laughs> whatever, bad. whatever. Your okay. name's not even Richard. Hey, it's by the you way. you dick enough times. That, I'm, l- that's I'm looking around now. here, which, you know, Hollywood, you go from Winnipeg, Hollywood kid doing good. Place is great. But, man. I'm look. I need a place to fucking lay a big dump around here. You bet. Oh fuck! <laughs> I know I exactly am. what you're getting at. That wasn't uh, me. I he. Okay. First off, first off, I just gotta say this. This is one thing about this shit. You pooped in my bar. Right. <laughs> that's that's not. it. The basic facts and the first thing. I did is, not poop in you, your bar. You were shooting if your I mouth did. off on your last episode, and you were calling me. I did not pay you. I kicked you off the stage. But the reason why I kicked you off the stage, you came into my bar my house and you were saying rude bad things on stage son of a bitch i was you were saying, saying rude bad things on the stage because we had agreed that you'd pay me 300 bucks you call me a fucking fat pig and a bastard <laughs> like uh, who's gonna yeah, if you're paying i'm you coming to your place to pay me so 300 bucks and then you never fucking no did. because you were you can't come into a guy's place and say I you were on stage no nope, you nope. were saying oh you no, nope. I can't even remember all the bad things. That's it was a I lot of horrible you. things. I had but to it's borrow because you from what? my bar. You didn't so bar me from te- the bar. I taught you a lesson. You're you didn't teach me paid. shit. You didn't teach me shit because we were back there two months later and I was doing the exact same thing. <laughs> I fucking barred. Well, because your band used to bring in some people, which I used to. So, make so, so Dave, did you poop? Did you, did you poop <laughs> I, in that man's bar? I, if but I did listen, listen to the toilet, he says I oh, jumped on his no, stage. I did not take a shit on your stage. No, no, whole story. I didn't finish it. You, I kicked you off, and you were barred in that. But then you just, when I kicked you out, went and looked, and there was a piece of shit by the side of this. And it was, <laughs> fuck, man, you eat a fucking grape. Get some, it was one of those puzzle poops where they're all, you know, hard, different color. They're kind of smashed together. It wasn't even a coiler or anything. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was I, I'm pooper. telling you, and I checked with everybody in the band. No one said that they did that. And that's something. It was you or Dylan. Oh, it definitely you guys wasn't hated Dylan. me. Dylan wasn't even the guy who uh, was actually the, Dylan is a good was guy. going through a Dylan is a good dumping guy. face. Yeah, he used you to are all a the piece time. of crap, but Dylan's a good guy. <laughs> anyway, 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 this is the Valley so, Boys. Oh. I am your host, Dave Weasel. Join with me oh, yeah, as my fine. sidekick. Oh. Brandon, yeah, he's a sidekick now because he's been uh, promoted because there's Dick Rivers here who is my assistant. I'll you are, you, I'll take it for you one are day. my assistant until you pay me back that $300. Brandon and you went down that debt. You owe me $260. Your, Brandon, I'm glad you paid off $40 last time you were here. On your podcast. He did invite oh, you. Oh, well, no one invited you. Well, thank you, you for being here, Dick. We appreciate it. I said I'd be in. And I said, I haven't gone on a podcast. I haven't done anything. So I'll go on your podcast. I was like, yeah, sure. But I, you, we didn't ask I you. Said, hey, you weren't invited. And if you want to. You got to talk into the microphone, Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Winnipeg Radio where no one's listening. 10 years since I broadcasted? Dave, I kind of have to say, I'm, I'm happy that he's here. I don't know why, but there's just this aura in the air that uh, makes me. Dave, you know what, Dave? Deep down, he'll bad. He loves me. Not really. He, yeah, he's got. I, I got. It's. it's you the, got a crush on me. Deep, deep okay, down in the same in, bowels oh, that left like, a dump on your stage. Like <laughs> back in his men. day, he he was like Howard Stern, but it was at, at the same time as Howard Stern. So this is well, I'm yeah, not I'm not yeah. saying you were copying him, but this people were saying the same shit Here. about him as they were saying about you. Yeah, Remember no, the I movie? got fine. What they I, say you saw that movie, right? Where yeah. why were people listening to him? Half of them because they love him, and they want to see what he's going to say next. And what was the other half? Uh, they hated him and they listened longer, and it's because yeah. they yeah. wanted to hear what they, he was going to say next. Exactly. I, I, I keep you around because you're a dancing clown. <laughs> you never know <laughs> what's going to happen next. Oh yeah. All right. Although I took you, uh, I took you backstage somewhere last year, and you behaved just fine. Yeah, you know what? See, that was cool. Jimmy came. And by the way, before I, you know, tell you what a piece of shit you are over and over, I'm actually a little bit proud of you. See, you from a dirt ball piece of crap coming in my bar, talking shit, laying <laughs> shits on the stage. I was down here in Hollywood, and I was, was only talking well, shit because you you said you were going to pay me three hundred bucks, so I agreed to perform, and then yeah, you decided you weren't going to pay me. I had to kick you off stage, but after I, that, it was after yeah, that. But listen, you can't come into a man's house. It was my bar. And after you, you said you weren't going to pay me, 
You said as soon as I got there, you're like, "Oh, by the way, I'm not paying you because uh, I'm not charging exactly you all these soldiers." Exactly because you were on stage shit. No, it was me. before. It was as soon as I got there. You were like, "By the way, I'm not this? paying you." Well, man, I'm getting upset. conflict of interest because you know what though the difference is I got a lot of witnesses. Everybody else in the band is, will attest to that because that's when you I know start what? getting mad and I'm still gonna fuck with Dylan, the soldiers. If you're if you're if Dylan is listening to He's this, not listening. Well, if he is, I paid Dave. Dave didn't oh, pay fuck you that. guys. No, he did not. <laughs> yep, you wheeled that's down what, your debt by forty bucks. All right. Last time we were in. That's what I'm saying. All right. 40 bucks, and you could have worked off a little bit, but. La- last time uh, we were in, we, uh, by the way, we saw, uh, what's the name? R- Jeremy? Yeah. What the fucking. Ooh, that guy's that, scary. There's a whole lot of fucking Canadian going on. We oh, can't sorry. subtitle the, uh, <laughs> the, the podcast. See, <laughs> see, I'm just trying to de- derail road the whole uh, conversation about oh, yeah, yeah. me not oh, paying yeah, you. Oh, yeah, but oh, yeah, I know that shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a miracle how you, you've warped it in your mind. That it's my fault that you didn't no, pay me. No, but were you not saying you were? People are coming up to me here. What are you saying about you? You're in my bar. <laughs> I'm supposed to be paying you. It's because you said and I'm it's not like paying you. I was in the you. back. Everybody's coming in. You said you got, I'm not you charging cover. That kid I'm not charging any soldiers cover. That's what you said. And so I got pissed off about it. Was it. So soldiers? Yeah. You think I'm gonna let the place was packed with right? And that's so nice of right. you to cover and the, you're to calling cover their me door a feet. fucking fat asshole and I shit on stage. I called you a lot of a lot of things. And then you shit. <laughs> and then you shit. I did not shit on the stage. Poop. If it was me, I would I would gleefully admit that. Yeah. I wish it was me. Yeah. If it was me, I'd be going, you. I shit like, on your listen, fucking stage. Don't do it again. Here's the point. You booked the band. You were on stage shit talking me. I had to bar you from the fucking bar. And then the fucking bar. I look over <laughs> and there's a fucking puzzle poop on the side of the fucking stage. Like That part never hand. happened. That part never happened. Well, who else would do it? It was the probably you. points to you. I don't have proof. Like, I didn't see a drop right out of your ass. Dude, if like, it was two me, and two together, man. I wouldn't deny it for 10 years. I would I would admit that, like I said, gleefully. I think Dylan, so, something I think, like that would bring me joy. It wasn't Dylan either. There, there was someone I, I, in the band I, going through a public defecation phase at that time, but he said it wasn't him. <laughs> uh, you, you case should, solved. <laughs> you should see Winnipeg now, man. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> you would fit right in. Like, you, <laughs> you could go back there right now. You could leave shit on Portage. They, they, by the way, there's a zoo, man. Miss that zoo. Yeah, they tore that down as soon as I left. Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, I saw the village though. It used to police like Dave Green and that. They were good in the village. That was a fucking bar owner. I'm like you. I texted him one time. I said, "Hey, Dave, there's people <laughs> fucking back here behind the vendor," and he just replies, "What are you doing back there?" <laughs> so I said, "Watching." Oh, and so he said, "You're a weird me. kid. Don't break any more bottles back yeah. there." <laughs> He's <laughs> man, that's a fucking I, bar owner. <laughs> I loved him. He was good. You know, I lived we were breaking bottles at your bar. Oh wait, you don't know that part. Oh man, we did take yeah, you know all by the way you, on the roof. By the way, fuck you. By the way, here raccoon. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Last uh, episode was asking what you were like ten years ago. You were a piece of shit. <laughs> he hasn't changed. He's the same piece of shit, whether he's successful or little. Yeah, because if nothing but consistent, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, we're jumping right into the love fest, which is exactly what I expected this to be. So this is anyway, fantastic for me. Let's move on. Let's. Uh, what else do I can't even think off the top of my head what you've done? What else? You you were like a like a thorn. You've always been like a hemorrhoid to me. So, so what, you know what, you're okay once in a while. Then you flare up when you're at the bar. So, so when did you first meet Dave? Like how did you guys hook up? You know, my, I I I could tell you. Dave came to me one time with a. I was gonna try and unload my piece of shit bar on. I thought another piece of shit guy, and we had a little meeting, and he came in there. Do you remember that meeting you had with me? Yeah, I remember talking to you about it and thinking this this guy's retarded if he thinks I'm giving him any money. <laughs> I was gonna no sell offense that, to retarded yeah, people. I, Don't want to compare Dick place. Rivers to I that. I didn't want to talk about that bar. That bar was a piece. But no, it, it, he actually a had a pretty good of band. Bad memories there. He had a pretty good band. All right. Then. Yeah, uh, I've heard him. Senor <laughs> Dinosaur, and he, you know what? I could have took him places. Maybe like I took Nickelback. Like we were, but he had a shit to attitude. Well, yeah. Well, his band was never going to be as good as Nickelback, you're, you're, anyways. Well, exactly, no, Nickelback exactly. blows. <laughs> what? That's the shittiest band. That's why. That's why they suck. Is because you got your fucking little dick fingers in there. No, no. I. You know what? I'm. Why are you even taking credit for that? Did you? I'm. Well, I don't take credit for them. I was around them. I don't take credit for them. <laughs> they would have did it themselves. I just kind of so was there. I kind of helped them. He helped them a little bit. With put you put them on the radio. Yeah, I played Nickelback songs that had never been played on the radio before anywhere, probably. Before I mean, it's they not even nothing, but it's not. Uh, 
But I actually, We're I puked one time on Chad in Vancouver a long time ago before they made it. I, uh, well, should uh, I tell the story? Your best friend, Chad. He's not. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to slam? Why do you slam Nickelback? Because they're they're the musical equivalent of uh, of a, a fart in the shower. Oh my it's like, god! It's like oh god, this is awful, and it never goes away. It's just always they're good. Lingering. They're good, man. <laughs> they, they, listen, they're a hard band. They shouldn't be branded a soft band, but they do write some songs. And back in the day, I tell them, you know, we worked together, and they learned how to write. But they're fucking hardworking guys, man. I don't I don't disagree. And with they're that. good guys. You know what? And they're really rockers at heart. They're really. I, I get it. I get it. Nah. But their music sucks. Fuck. And and it's not just me who thinks that. Everybody thinks that. Holy uh, f- uh, uh, order uh, uh, order uh, uh, some Mexican that. because I've got to, I emptied out my colon before I came. <laughs> but this is it. I'm really gonna lay a fucking steamer here. Yeah, every, everybody uh, hates nickel. Where can I do around here? Uh, well, the pool? Yeah, well it's yeah, I mean, it's Stay got away water. From there. <laughs> Actually it's pretty dirty. You need to clean that. I'll take you know, 10 bucks off your desk. So, okay, I didn't pay you, but there was a reason why I didn't pay no. you. No. But you're shooting, shooting your mouth off. You're supposed this, I, Dude, it's not a chicken or the egg thing. I showed up to the bar, and you're like, I'm not charging cover to these soldiers. I can't do that to them. And I was like, wow, that's so nice of you to uh, to, to cover that for them. And yeah, I made, like, a, lot, oh, I made a shit lot of money. I know, night. you fucking asshole. You wouldn't give me what we agreed on. So, yeah, I was well, running Because you're shit-talking me on stage. Gonna, I wasn't even going to shit-talk you. I was going to shit-talk the soldiers. You're, and do you what remember that? What kind of person shit-talks a soldier? I know. That's that's terrible. Nah, I'm just saying nah, I was nah, going to. You. you know I what, I didn't Dave? do it, though. I was outside. We were in a, a big circle. The band. Yeah, all jerking. You were in a big circle, all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you remember? I remember seeing your stupid head bobbling along through the through the cars. Yeah. And you came right up to our group. And this was five minutes after we arrived, and you told me that you weren't paying me. And I was so mad. I was telling everybody, I'm going to fucking go up there, and I'm going to make fun of the soldiers. And everybody's like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. You came up, and you're like, are you going to talk shit about the soldiers? And I was like, no. Who told what? on me? <laughs> and, and you were like, I just know the fucked up way your uh, little I head works. I think some of those soldiers wanted to kick your ass. No, they didn't. Because I said I said a couple things, and they were laughing. And I was, I've was i never been on stage and pissed off by people laughing at me making jokes. But you uh, know, they laughed even harder when I was making fun of you. Fuck. Yeah, what's one of the jokes Dave. you threw out the soldiers? I, I'm, even if I could remember, I'm not going to repeat it because that was a shitty thing to do. Fair enough. I, and, and it I was, was a shitty thing. I was to lucky. Shit on my fucking stage. I was lucky that they they took it as a joke. That's in Canada. If you pull that shit here, <laughs> dead man. Yeah. Like the president would have me nuked. That guy's a, a fucking idiot. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, we you, don't get political, you're political on this. Fucking guy. No, we do. We just. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. That, you, you will never don't hear. Stop. That's not a transition. Word. You'll never hear a sorry after exchange like that. Uh, sorry. You're between Americans. It usually ends with someone either getting stabbed or shot. Yeah. Or they just owe them $300 for 10 years. Oh, geez. Fuck, get, get, get up. Do you want money? Yeah. What do I got on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, you don't need money. You're living <laughs> in a pool in fucking LA. I knew he was going to fucking. You don't need money. I need money more than you. Fuck. Okay. So, so tell, us the, 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 tell us more about Nickelback. You were starting to go somewhere. You puked on Chad. Oh, you know what? Uh, Nickelback, before they signed their deal, I went out. I think it was... I can't even remember now the show. Anyways, I was out there, and this was before they made it. You said out in Vancouver? Yeah, sorry, in Vancouver. And I think it was Motley Crue Fleur, a band that I was grooming, or was not grooming, was helping or whatever. Noise Motley Crue, too? We're, oh, no, they were, they were opening up for Motley Crue. Did you so, meet this guy famous I, named Elvis? <laughs> <laughs> My God, Dave. The Beatless? Mm-hmm. So anyways, I'm just going to ignore. Uh, so yeah, we were basically in... Uh, sorry, Matt. Noise Therapy were opening up for Motley Crue. It was this band I knew, and we kind of helped a little bit. And, and uh, So we got them on the Motley Crue tour, and then, uh, so their management flew me out to their show in Vancouver, and I knew Chad, uh, and this is before they even made it. So Chad, I phoned up Chad, and they were playing at a gym somewhere. He couldn't even get me tickets, because uh, it was Silver Chair. They were playing with in an in, in opening for in a gymnasium, so I wanted to f- see him. And then uh, we went back there. I saw him. So we went, uh, I was dating the Boogie Night singer. Fucking hot princess, man. She was hot. Uh, Wait, she, princess was her name, right? Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. What I her heard nickname. stories about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So she, uh, she was with me. Of course, a fat, greasy guy with this towering hot. Well, she looked like a stripper, but gives a guy like a me hope. But uh, anyway, so I met Chad the next day before the Motley Crew. I'd been drinking and that, and I said, "Meet me at this bar." And then so he met me there, 
Uh, I don't know. It was around seven or eight at night. And I'd been drinking all day. So I was in the Jägermeister then. And we were at the bar. And it was like, Chad wasn't a drinker. He smoked a lot of dope and that. But it wasn't a hard drinker. But he'd have some shots. Just doubting him as a drug addict on the podcast. Okay. What? <laughs> he said he smoked a lot of pot. Yeah, he smoked a so lot. He's a of junkie. Pot. He's, yeah, that's right. He's a <laughs> fucking junkie. But he, um, anyways, he went and went down the wrong way with me. I've been drinking a lot, so we were doing shots at the bar, and then I puked. I had too much, and I puked on his shoes. And man, that guy was so good to me. I remember that, and he's a big rock star. But he was cleaning me up, taking care of me, and that's uh, yeah, before he made it. So I, I believe that all that whole story that, I, is believable. Is a, I guarantee that. that you were puking and he was cleaning you up like a little well, so, so, pig. So you puked on he was Chad a nice Kroger's guy. shoes. Taking care of this asshole radio guy. That's that. That's a fucking awesome story. Yeah, See, I told you Nickelback's the greatest band ever, Dave. You won't listen to me. That's you know what? Their music. Uh, that is why I like Raccoon. Yeah. You can call what? me. You can call me Raccoon. <laughs> hey, that's a good name. Better than Braid Off, like everybody else calls him. If, if, if by he's every, a Trump supporter. Uh, you know what? Trump, I don't even want to get in. He's such an asshole. Like, I, I, some of the things, but why does he have to be such an asshole? Well, the thing is, he, he's not different than most politicians, other than the fact that, like, he's outwardly, like, saying, yeah, I'm going to bomb the shit out of these countries. Whereas other presidents, well, we need to take a diplomatic approach. To that, and then they bomb the countries. That's the difference between Trump and every other president. He's a piece of shit. He's kind of like Dave. No, he is nothing like me at all. Yeah, even Trump. A lot Dave, of life. Dave has better hair, definitely. Yeah. And D- Dave's like at least ten pounds, uh, not as fat as Trump. So I'll give <laughs> Dave that. So you know. <laughs> By the way, you got a nice looking rack for a raccoon there, raccoon. I, I you've only had yeah. one. You've only had one drink, dirty dick. <laughs> See, I'm starting to now. I'm starting to loosen up after a couple of drinks. He's calling you dirty dick instead of shitty dick. You remember that? Chanting shitty yeah, dick? Yeah, listen to me, man. <laughs> At the listen, Rainbow Bar see, Grill? Uh, nobody else did. Dick. Like a shitty, shitty dick. dick. Shitty, shitty dick. dick. You're ch- you were chanting it, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah you that were. That was actually fun. We met Kiefer Sutherland that night. Uh, yeah, but he was cool. He wasn't drunk at all, right? He was fucking... No, no, dude, dude. We don't, we don't talk shit. He was, he was great. Good. He was a gentleman. You know what, though? His, uh, there'd be no health care in Canada without his grandpa, Tommy Douglas. So Tommy Douglas, yes, Saskatchewan Premier. Do you, do you hear that story? Uh, no, yeah. Someone mentioned it on Facebook, and I actually researched it. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so I, I, I do know that part that of Canada. That night, I told him that that night, and he hugged me. Yeah. No, no. Keith nice for one's a super nice fucking dude. Yeah. Yeah. And he wasn't driving. That's. Oh no, he, that's he wasn't very driving. true. Yeah, they, yeah. they all they all have their he caretakers. They drink. all have their drivers. They all got drink. their security. I might have had a drink. You might have had a drink that night. Uh, I I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, well, it <laughs> was the end of the night. I don't. Fuck there's a lot of us that might not dick. remember a lot. Hey, we yeah, shitty dick. Fucking chant, shitty dick. You hey, shit. your buddy Tim there. Uh, He's stuck guy. with him. He wants to come back in March. Yeah, all right. All but right. he was calling you shitty dick too. He still does. He well, 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 shout he out, shout out to Tim. Man. Shout out to Tim. Timmy. So yeah, we got a list of questions to ask. Uh, and these are good ones. Oh, Not like are they? I've I last time I hung out with you, I got Fuck. all kinds of horrible messages like that were about child support and things that had nothing to do. With <laughs> 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 Fucking Chaya. Well. So, shout out to Dustin Jackson who has a whole bunch of these. You can tell he's a Gen <laughs> Xer. Uh, God, he's got his own list. But Jesus. someone sent you questions to ask me. Yeah. So, oh, how would Ryan the Homo from Domo bit <laughs> bear in okay. today's market? That guy. He was a funny poop pounder. That was a little turd tapper. He was a. Uh, <laughs> used to. He used to. He was a guy who pumped gas at Domo, and I nicknamed him a homo from Domo. He used to always call. Good guy, but I don't think he could do that nowadays. Maybe he can. All right. Good answer. Uh, how much the CRTC threatened to fine you if you said bastard more than three times in an hour? They, there's a lot of little things like that. So how it works in Canada, CRTC, you can say anything on the radio. I said fuck a couple of times on the radio. Never even got shit for. But, uh, yeah, when you do too much, if someone makes a complaint, then the CRTC will look into it. There's a lot of, I used to walk the line and and, uh, break rules and kind of, but I knew I wouldn't, I knew I'd get maybe a three-day suspension, four-day suspension. Right. So, But usually no fines, but I did get suspended for... Probably about four or five. I think it was five times. 
And, and so basically, the CRTC is uh, Canada's FCC, as, as far yeah, as like all. But they're how, even they're a little more commie communist. Well, well, well I don't yeah. Be a, well, I figured. Yeah, I'm an old guy. Commies, <laughs> <laughs> fucking commie pingos. Hey, that's what everybody's worried about now. The commies. Yeah. Fucking boomer. <laughs> Kid boomer. <laughs> Fuck, you sound like my kid. Here's another one here. Uh, how often were you drunk and high on air and what your colleagues oh. loved about it? <laughs> my God. I'm going to be honest with you about this. Drunk on the air, only one time. I do not even remember going to the station. And it's on the internet. You can. It's the most embarrassing thing because I was always pretty pro- professional, pardon me. On the air, but uh, I signed a contract at a place called Freak 107. It was a uh, religious station. I think Holy it was around shit. 2004. Freak 107 was religious? Yeah, yeah. Freak. With the technical license. But anyways, they wanted to get out a non-religious license. So yeah, they, signed me, rock. they signed me to a deal, and I came back there. And uh, one of the part of my deal, I didn't have my license at the time uh, due to something bad drinking don't drink and drive anyways and so i had a read it so i had a driver now i went to a show My canadian pal i went to a Shout uh out to Brandon. <laughs> thank you i went to a, a foo fighters concert in minneapolis took contest winners so i came back and the sunday night i had this big bottle of vodka from the states that was cheap so i decided to pound it and i got drunk and blacked out and i had a driver that would pick me up i don't even remember going to the station that time if you, uh, but I'm, it's just fucking embarrassing on the internet, uh, drunk and hammered. So I went to the station. If you listen to it, it's actually embarrassing. Uh, but you can tell I'm fucking wasted and I had to get pulled off the air. And then that's not why I got fired. I should have got fired after that, but I stayed working there for another four months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I looked but up it, Dick yeah. Rivers Winnipeg on Twitter just to see oh, if fuck. people said anything. And that's all it was. It was I don't, radio I'm, DJ wasted, but on these legit gossip yeah. sites and whatever. I yeah. was like, oh, Dick, come on. Uh, all right, so question, no. while, we're, while we're going down this path, what did get you fired from that radio station? Uh, from Power 97 or from... For, for, from the one you're talking about, the one, one where you were obliterated. What got me fired? It was, yeah, they couldn't get a religious license. I wasn't fitting in. It was not good. I, well, it was just, yeah. it was shit. Like, it was a, st- and they couldn't afford me to keep me, like, longer. <laughs> Yeah, that's really okay. that's it. But the reason why I got fired from Power ninety seven, yeah, this is the good one. Is so hang on, Power ninety seven is a massive rock station yeah. in Canada, and it I used, used to listen to that. Yeah, it used to be a killer station. Anyways, I um, Jim Jones, you, best DJ. Shout out you, to him. I like I like Jim Jones, but what about me? Yeah, well, you're huh? a piece of shit. Okay. Anyways, um, what, what, what were we talking about? <laughs> How you got fired from? The oh yeah. So I had a bit of a cocaine problem. <laughs> so we'll start with that. There was about a year and a half there. I had a pizza place. I had uh, did a radio show, you know, weeknights at night. And then after the bar closed, I, or after I'd get off my shift at midnight, I'd go to a bar, and they'd pay me to fucking play bar games and do whatever for the rest of the night. So and then I had a pizza place too. So I was only sleeping like three or four hours. Cocaine would, you know, I could keep going. So I could do the pizza place and do that. Like I did cocaine once in a while. It wasn't a big deal, but this is the only way I could function after a while. So at nine o'clock at night at the station, probably the last year, I probably had two years where I was on coke. And uh, basically I slept in for a shift, which started at seven o'clock on uh, one, one day. So they wrote me up and said, oh, you can't sleep in for a shift. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I did, two days later, yeah, I slept in again for the seven o'clock at night shift. No, the, the, ba- basically that was it. But they knew I had a. That's not that problem. exciting. Yeah. Well, what the fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know. But that's that, that's really why I got fired. Well, so but there was a, probably for a year I was just telling them that I didn't want to work at nights. So I was over, you know, stressed out, shit. Anyways, that's not a good story. This is before energy <laughs> drinks. That's how old yeah. you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter if you get coked out the night before. A little bit of rock star will do you good. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't like those fucking energy drinks. Well, it doesn't matter if you like them or not. It's Sometimes it's just necessity yeah. of life. You got to get every day. up. You got to get up and get moving. Every hey. fucking morning I have one. Is you guys are getting me drunk. Yeah, well. It's, it's, it's weird going. because it looks like we're about five feet away from you and you're putting a glass to your own lips, but we're getting you drunk somehow. 
Yeah, you sons of bitches. Guy, what you, is this? Canadian Crest. Yeah, <laughs> only the best five dollar whiskey. By for the you, way, Dick. I think I listen to the podcast here. Yeah, Brandon, I gotta say you're an honorary Canadian man. I'm gonna. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. You know what? In the winter or something, I'm kind of tied up till March or April. But yeah. man, next winter, I'm gonna fly you up there for a couple of days. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, and I'm gonna take you around Winnipeg. <laughs> Without he's this been, guy, he's been waiting for the Winnipeg tour. You know what? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to show you. We'll do show a- Portage Place. Yeah, like, uh, yes. fly up. You know, Port- Portage, place, whatever. It Portage is. Place is my number one Canadian destination. Hey, guys, don't talk about it. Dick Rivers, it, I've told a lot of people about Portage Place. What do you have to say oh, about it? Fuck, man. Are the stories it's, it's, I tell it's, true? Uh, yeah, it's like it looks like physically it looks like Dave was there pooping <laughs> in every fucking corner. A Portage place, but it's just—it's even worse. There's actually a YouTube when, when, video of someone pooping in the in the, yeah, uh, in the place. You saw that on the internet, eh? Yeah. That's funny. Anyways, um, how long have you been down here? Five years. Have you ever been back? Uh, not Winnipeg, just Vancouver. Yeah, I had a show there. Why don't you come back the odd time, you son of a bitch? I I will once I get I don't know. Get yeah, go on. If I get yeah. uh, if I get I I don't have time right now, dude. I like, know, man. You're bit first off. You are a fucking busy, busy man. And you're wearing yourself. Last time I was here, you were sick. Yeah. And this time, you're sick, man. That's a sign that you need to pump the brakes. Oh, fucking uh, wise old man here now. Listen to the boomer. I listen to no boomer, especially all those horror stories you just told. You're the last person. If you're telling me to pump the brakes, I'm just going to go full throttle from here on out. Mm. Uh, Brandon, you're getting me pissed, man. Yeah. You know, once I start drinking, that's He's the problem. He's refreshing everybody's glass, but like... Well, we've polished this bottle off already. Well, there's only three of us, and I've just started. Just we've been talking. Ready. We. Uh, it feels like I've been here maybe a half hour. That whole fucking bottle's full. What time is it? Who cares? You know what time it is in Winnipeg? 3.30 hey, p.m. Holy shit, man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, Holy moly, man. No, 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 don't worry. I'm going to put some uh, soda in there. We got another question for you, Dick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you come up with the... Pots or porno bit, yeah. So but it, well, it was great. Yeah, I used what to the play. What is that? Uh, used to be a game every night on my show. So I play a clip from. It was either a cooking show or a porno movie. So and this was back before you had to get like I used to have to watch pornos for hours at nights just to get a like a fifteen second little clip. Oh, yeah, just doing but, some research. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a bottle of Jergens usually. But uh, you know, the articles, uh, yeah, it's always nice to get paid for something Le- you're already doing, right? Yeah, leaving pecker tracks all over my couch. Jesus Christ, Elmer's blue stains everywhere. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, fuck that's too. what I'm gonna do. I might, uh, in your lovely little place, well, it isn't really little, big pool. No, no, you're you not allowed what? inside. That's why we're doing it outside. Oh. It's because you're not allowed inside. I gotta leave some you little present here somewhere. By the way, where's all your cats? Hiding from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told him Dick Rivers is coming. Was he likes dude? pussy. <laughs> I'm still traumatized <laughs> from that documentary. Did you see? We talked about it on the last episode. Someone made this killer little poster. Oh man! Of, uh, Red Dead Redemption. It says Red Dead Dave, and it shows it, they photoshopped me oh. onto the Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. And instead of horses, there's like a bunch of cats. Because there was this documentary called Don't Fuck with Cats. You see yeah. that? I, I haven't seen it. I've heard about they it. They fucking show that this cat getting strapped to a broomstick, yeah. and the dude's like gonna put it in the back. I've had nightmares about that. Oh, really? For a week. See, I'm a cat guy too. I Deep can't. Down. I can't. I can't think of that. Yeah. All right. Thanks. To, <laughs> thanks for bringing the mood up, Dave. Fuck. <laughs> you. Were, I don't know. You made me think of it. The cats. <laughs> Fuck, now no. I gotta give them more tour we're all tonight. We're fucking drinking and depressed about the fucking kitties. So, so the Power ninety seven was that like the biggest gig that you had on the radio? What was that? No, like- but it may be, like I had a lot of opportunities to go places, but it was I had I was probably the last DJ with what's called creative control. Like there, I could do anything, say anything I want. Now a DJ, like you got to play certain music and you got to stick to the format. You can't say this. Uh, uh, they so gave yeah. you complete control. Well, that was in a contract. I wasn't <laughs> the fucking orangutan. I was. I've always been very businessy. And when I walk over the line, like I had to be be a a country DJ and all this (laughs) shit to get into rock. And then uh, you just kind of walk the line and you know that when you have killer ratings, you can get away with a little more. Same with the CRTC. I know by trial and error, just what what you could do, what you can get away with. So, so even in comedy country, as long as you're bringing in money, you uh, you can do whatever the hell you want, basically. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, basically, yeah. Well, that's like, the station knew, itself. 
they knew I had a cocaine problem, but they couldn't really <laughs> ask me when they br- come in and they would, Dick, do you need any help? Or, you know, but they couldn't when you're, <coughs> I don't know. I look at it back as a, the talent. You ever watch the Larry Sanders show? Uh, I've seen episodes like way back in the day. Yeah, HBO, right? just seeing you know, a no, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, you make me feel old, you son of a bitch. Anyway, you ever see this new show called I Love Lucy? Why are you such an <laughs> asshole, man? I gotta say though, you 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 still got it. You hey? still got that thing that you always had. You st- like you you haven't been in that, front of him. That is the me. What? Even Dick Rivers like a character anime, but it, I'm like this with him joking around. That's why I hate social media. I don't think I think your voice texture that. Like when you say a joke and stuff on social media, when you write it out, it's yeah, not it the same effect. Doesn't like you need inflection? That's why I like I don't text back and shit all the time. I'd rather talk to somebody in person. Like, uh, just the feelings got out of everything. It's like, fuck. I think that's why everyone's so angry nowadays. Like, everything's over text or, like, message yeah. boards or Facebook or Twitter. Like, no one actually talks to each other. No one knows if you're being serious, if you're joking or whatnot. Everyone right. gets their fucking tits in a twist yep. over goddamn everything now. No one sits around and talks anymore. It's true. Brandon tries calling me all the time, and I, 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 I never answer. But he wants to he wants to talk on the phone. Well, I, I, yeah, I want to phone. Yeah. Like, what the I, hell? Well, I want to. I want to connect. That's the best with my way to communicate, man. No, it's I, not. Like, I hate talking. Text that shit. Talking, you know, if we're talking back and forth or something, or I need to ask you. By the way, now are we going to talk about this uh, dick show? Or are we not going to talk about it? Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna get into that, then we got to yes. get into some of the stories that you got. And okay, so to get into it, since you yeah. brought it up, yeah, yeah. Um, we're kind of working on a project together if it goes somewhere. Right. Can I say that? And if somebody wants to take it over, please, for the love of God, do. But Dick's got <gasps> a, uh, a TV show idea. I've agreed to write it, and you want me to play you. Yeah, because you know what? It. Y- you need to pack on maybe 10 more, f- 15 pounds. But you yeah, got that cocky think- swagger for, you know, that I used to have. You got that kind of cocky swagger. So you put it on once in a while. You know what? I think you're the only one that can pull it off. So when we were talking about it, that was the thing. And that's what got me writing all these fucking stories. And then I'm sending you some of them, but I've got a, tons of them. But I think it would be a good show, but I want y- you to be able to... F- I don't disagree with that. There there are a lot... They're, cra- they're th- fucking crazy There's a crazy lot of crazy stories. fucking stories. I, we're we're going to tell the... You're going you're gonna to tell the onion story. The onion toe. Oh, evil toe. Evil toe. Onion toe. I don't know what I was thinking. Do I want to tell that story? Now? Uh, well, we're already this deep. Yeah, yeah. At this point, we're already God. talking about okay. chlamydia and cocaine. You, I, so. And this is the only podcast I'm coming on ever. This is kind of out of retirement, and I'm sorry, I'm a parent. You're gonna get asked my on par- more podcasts now. I, my, uh, my, I'm not. I'm. I don't care if I get asked. This is the only podcast I'll do. If I and I'm gonna Wait, do. You go back to Winnipeg. I'm, They're all gonna. All no, the no. I'm gonna. Ready. Don't worry. I don't do this. This is fun, actually. So, anyways. Um, what were we talking about? Where did I lose? Jesus Christ, dude. See, this cocaine is why buddy. you don't drink when don't you're broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, no, the drink we, is fine. We do it drunk th- all the time. We're yeah. drunk right uh, now. And yeah, we're goddamn See, geniuses. See, that's why I never... I'll I tell lose, you where you I left off. Train of the evil toe. Oh. And how oh, you didn't want to tell the story. Okay, so because my parents are listening. No, they're not. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. So one time, uh, Just the guy's name was Tom. He's in Headley now. Uh, you said playing a band called uh, More Jar. Name Dropping, okay. Or a Fly Band. Well, what am I not thinking? Didn't, the, didn't they get fun. in trouble? Was it that band? Jar or, or uh, Headley? De- Headley's lead, lead singer is going through something right now. With, 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 yeah. He did with girls, right? Y- yeah. Ooh. Well, y- yeah. So you don't want to break I don't that you know him. I don't know him. I know the bass player. You just <laughs> want to drop his name. Okay. No, but it's a, f- it's a story. He plays in Headley. If some lead singer does something, it's not. His oh fault fuck yeah, I remember them. They were big for like a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, well, they're big in Canada. Yeah, that's it's like it's like being big, being big in Canada is like being the world's tallest midget. No, well, no, I mean, you know? they, okay, they, they were big in the U.S. <laughs> for a cup of coffee, but you know, but anyhow, so uh, yeah. So, anyways, he they, they uh, I kind of helped these guys. They were called Jar, and they had to change their name to Flybanger. But um, they came out here to record with the guy from Faith No More was producing it. But they signed an American deal uh, for a Canadian band, which was good. That's what they wanted. And then they came yeah. down to L.A. to record. And the lead singer had a bit of a drug issue or whatever. Uh, so he actually OD'd here. Kind of a Nikki Six story. 
And then that kind of, they recorded the album, then they toured, but because he was a little bit on the outs, they didn't get the, the push from the record company that you need to make it. And But they did sign an eight album deal. But back then, when you signed a record deal, it's They big. got eight albums? They That's what they signed what the, the deal fuck? for. Yeah. They, they, they weren't even that good of a band for eight albums. No, no, like, Jar when, was a when good band. What was they, this? What, what decade? It was, it was Jar, 1998. Sounds eight, about eight right. Eight albums yeah. in the 90s? Jesus no, no, Christ. they signed the deal, but they never, they put out one album, but they signed a deal, and it was a good deal. That's yeah, a, that's well, I was going to say, the fucking album never went anywhere. Deal. Yeah. A development deal is typically four albums, yeah. and the last successful yeah, I know. one they had, was like Yeah, good Smith. management, they, know what, they knew what to do, but anyways, the lead singer, uh, Odid. And so anyways, but they recorded down here, and then they were going to release the album in a couple months, so this guy, Tom, he, Salty there, one of the greatest guys I've met, uh, he was a bass player. So he, I said, hey, Matt, I'll fly you down. You got time between your album comes out. Like to Winnipeg because it's like party central for, for for those guys when they were starting out. They got treated like rock stars before they were rock stars. And then um, basically he, he was in for that night and we were I got my toe infected at a rock show uh, called Shake in the Lake the weekend before. And uh, then I came and uh, hold on here. Shaking the lake, and then, my, yeah, I cut my toe, and it was infected, and it was big and purple. So I always wear flip-flops in the summer. All right. And then uh, it, it was fucking... Fucking loser. It was fucking... <laughs> it was fucking gross. You couldn't... Fucking, fucking it, it never ends. Fucking weasel. It's just like a fucking thorn in my... Anyways, so I had an infected toe, so it was a joke the night before. We wrote in Transcona. And I was, I said, we were old trans corner. Old trans corner. <laughs> eh? Old trans corner there, bud. Oh, you yes. know that one if you're, if you're from so weird corner. <laughs> so there we were. And uh, the toe was Less gross. We were making fun of this fucking <laughs> evil toe. And then uh, I was at the zoo. And the night before, I was uh, there was a hanger on or groupie or whatever. Uh, I sound like I'm a big shot when I say that. But uh, I was I was saying. Hey, look at the evil toe. It'd be something. If, so she went and sat on the evil toe. And so the, I was at the zoo the night before he left, and we set this up. And we were joking about the evil toe need to get laid that name. Yeah. So. Um, the evil toe needs to get laid? Yeah. It was. Well, yeah. It was like a big toe. And we thought it'd be funny if a girl would sit on my toe. And, uh, fucking gross. So, anyways, so this girl, say, and like, we were t- we were talking about it on the radio. Yeah, this and is when you were in Headley, of course. No, <laughs> checks out. You see your baby. Oh, okay. okay, so question. So, when you say sit on your toe, do you mean like I like mean squat insert, down and insert, insert her? Yes. Insert it into her. Oh, vagina. you d- do dirty dick uh, rivers nobody, over here. Nobody, I wouldn't like for it. But if it was somebody's suggestion or whatever to sit on the evil toe. But did you I try mean, to get some broad to do it, though? No, I didn't try. She wanted to. She <laughs> <came out laughs> I don't like this. She, uh, <laughs> no, no, let's keep going, Dave. No, no, it's no. Right. She came to the bar. Yeah, actually, my permission. Because we were joking about it on the radio that night. And we, it was kind of a joke on the radio. She came to the zoo and took my toe. She was a hot girl. And she just came down because she heard it on the radio. Came down there. The zoo, side stage. Oh my god! I'm emb- I see. I'm embarrassed about this story now. I, I'm she, loving it. Keep she going. actually grabbed my toe. She went side stage at the zoo, and uh, yeah, she t- grabbed my toe foot and put my evil toe inside her. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Yeah, that's one of the grossest stories. I think see, my face, my reaction derailed do. you. That's what I would do. That to me, that was like every night. Yeah. Oh, god, I, that's gross. Yeah, I, I, I already knew that story, I, but I never. I, I, I only, I've only read, read about it. Yeah, from your typed up. Version. But it's not. You see, something like that was like cra- some girl came and inserted, uh, grabbed my toe and put it in her box. That's so gross. I know. I look back now, but to me, That's it so was gross like of funny. you. No, but it was funny to me. It was like holy, f- and it's like not that I wanted to put my infected toe. In so so <laughs> so did your did your. So did your toe get infected again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cleared up eventually. Did you put a condom on it at least? No, no, I didn't. Uh, fucking dirty. I didn't. I, 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 feel, I feel like I should have known you at some point, or maybe I did in a former life. I, I feel like we're vibing over here, not not, not to go all like super uh, metaphysical or anything. Oh, well, here we are go. You, 
Uh, you're a rocker. How old? How old are you? Uh, same as Dave. We're 35. No, he's way older. He's a he, boomer too. Yeah, well, I, I'm three months older yeah, than Dave. Seems, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, okay, no, boomer. No <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, you, you seem around. Uh, I don't know, 40 something. That, you know, it just I, looks like it. That, well, I fucking bitch at my goddamn roommates about the fucking yeah. thermostat and leaving lights on, so, you know, I might as well be. And all he does is make dad <laughs> jokes. I told him, like, if you're going to make that many dad jokes, you got to have, like, <laughs> seven kids, like a Mormon or a famous rapper. Okay, well, there is a chance that I might have seven kids out there. I just haven't got any knocks on the door or uh, calls to my phone yet, so. Yep, there is that chance. Yeah. Brandon likes the ladies, too. Brandon, yeah. I want to see. You have any pictures with all that beard, man? What, without the beard? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'll find one for you. I'll, uh, you hold on a second. Fucking beards. Uh, yeah, you... A thief, man. You, you, you two talk you amongst yourselves. Up. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I'm too fat. I, I keep my beard... You're not fat. It, it makes you, my double chin look like a 1.5 If you do play me in chin. this fuck little show... Oh, yeah, that's different. Though. You got to pack on some pounds, so... Wow. Easy. You're a fat bastard. I don't remember calling you a fat bastard. I remember calling y'all. I remember I performed there. I was in a really bad car accident right after that, and like a week later, I was on you stage a- in my f- w- with a fucking cane, and uh, and I, I remember comparing it to. I was like, "Did I die and go to hell?" Because this is what I imagined hell to be like performing here. Bull- like, you know why you, you had that bullshit manager I- working for you, the guy in the shiny shirt, you know, whatever his name was, shiny yeah. shirt guy. Uh, uh, I there were so many managers through there, right? And did you ever pay any of your employees? Because one of my one kidding? of my friends was a waitress there. I accidentally set her arm on fire, but who? Well, Carly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Did you ever pay her? Listen, I I paid everybody. Okay, everybody except me. All right, so here there, there is actually one band that I did stiff that I feel bad about, but I can't even remember the name of the band. Senior Dinosaur. No, because you don't see your ass that one. The, bro, I, I don't even want to get in. I get cranky every time you mention this. Well, what bed? What you, bed? You what were bed in my house. Stiff? That's like me coming to your house. No, no. It was right chick- now, if I lead a shit, they, you no, were in there. No, and you no, not, it's not a chicken or the egg. It's not a chicken the egg. I was only like that because you're, you said you weren't paying me. As soon as I got there, you're like, I'm not paying you. Why? That, why That's would, 100% why would I say down. that I'm not paying you? Because you said you're Before not charging the door. Because you're not charging the door. You said I'm not charging the door because too many Ten seconds. <laughs> ten seconds. Fucking Dave. What's ten seconds? I, I'm getting hammered here. End of round four. Okay. <laughs> T- quick timeout. All right. So here's a picture of me without a beard or long hair. This is me when I was about 16 years old. Oh, this is great for an audio only podcast. Just picture a giant baby that looks like he smoked oh, too many cigars. Kind of like you look a little downsy there, but. Well, yeah, but I wasn't fat there, you know, and uh, I, I still didn't get laid, so it didn't matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, you for like for Dave. Face, yeah, dude. giant baby like that smoked strong. too many cigars. Uh, well, you know, look at those glasses too. See, you th- those glasses were popular in the early nineties. Look at you. Who's that pose for? What were you? No, were I, you trying to pick up someone? No, yeah, I, that, no, was, I, ta- that was taken hey, with, baby. with a film camera. No, you know, so he had to go. He had to pay money to I, get that developed. Uh, no, it's back in high school. Here, here's a picture of me uh, <laughs> at uh, one of my uh, fire department Christmas parties. By the way, Dave. Fucking weasel, raccoon. What's his obsession? What is your obsession, Brandon, with raccoons? No, I, they're, they're the fucking greatest animals. Like, so I just started seeing them. They're filthy on- little. They're fucking little critters, man. Have you they not fucking, fucking hurt you- yourself for the last half an hour? Yeah, you're, you you put a raccoon to shame. Uh, uh, yeah, man. raccoon looks at you like what a piece of shit. You see, you, you know, you get me drinking and you start. What talking animal about these- would would Dick the- Rivers be? Rooster, man, cock. No, 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 no. I no, actually, no, no. I do collect cocks. Herp. <laughs> I bet you do. Rooster. Well, hey, West Hollywood ain't too far <laughs> away, buddy. <laughs> Rooster, isn't that, uh, you know, like in the gay community, there that's a term for something, right? Like there's twins and there's bear and there's rooster. No, it isn't. Is I, it? I, yeah, I, there, I'm sure there is. There were, I, I'm going to look. Well, 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 we oh, my wanna, God. We want to be accurate on ah, this podcast, so I'm going to look it up right now because I can't. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, no, you would... Uh, Guy, he well, I, like I said, we're, we're, we we kind of got this spirit vibe going on. I, I say he's definitely an opossum because he's way uglier than I am, but he still eats trash. He's a, like a night dweller, and uh, I'm sure opossums can get chlamydia. Hey, guy, yep. you think Dick Rivers is uglier than you? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I won't call many people whoa, whoa, whoa. uglier in my life. Hold on. Am I seeing you? 
Yes. <laughs> you think that I'm uglier than you? He's yes. just way older. There's a difference. Uh, fair, well, hey, <laughs> Dick, how old are you? It, it, you 50. know, you know what? It's a I turned fifty. This okay, year. it's a technicality, but I'll fucking take it. I'm I'm thirty five, so by default, I am fucking I'm better fucking looking young than you. Bastards. So, uh, you, there, there's a variable there. Like, if you gotta look at thirty five year old Dick. Dick in the nineties. Uh, I, I don't want to look my, at my Dick at any age. Says I look like a fat John Lennon. <laughs> nah, in the nineties with the long hair. Well, well, he said I look like a fat and he always he always says I'm a little downsy looking. Well, well who's your which, Yoko Ono? Oh fuck. Yeah, which one of those women is your Yoko? <laughs> you know what? I was in an you were talking about an accident. Man, I hate talking about this. Sometimes I turn into a pussy, but August tenth, nineteen ninety seven, I got in a car accident. Really, really fucking bad. Uh I was in a coma. Wow, man, I'm bringing this down. Uh, I was in a coma for six weeks, so. Holy shit. I signed a, I signed a record deal, and I got a Jeep. I always wanted a Jeep. If I were 97 when I was just starting to make it. I think I started 96, and then 97, I was getting the big contracts. And, and the contract was a uh, Jeep uh, as a ratings bonus and stuff. So, anyways, I uh, was coming home. She went up a couple of days before me to Grand Beach. And we were coming back on the divided highway and talking to each other. And I had to do a gig at Johnny G's that night. It was a Sunday. And she was driving um, beside me. And we were talking. Uh, it was a divided highway. And she was in the car beside me. And I was. Uh, we had our windows rolled down. Nobody. We didn't all have cell phones. But uh, I was saying, well, meet me at the, the Forks at Brannigan's. And then we'll... Uh, We'll, uh, man, I get choked up and we'll go for some. So anyways, while we were talking, the, her car, there was a curve in the road. She hit the gravel in the road, overcorrected, pulled it back out and then hit my Jeep. And I flew out 200 yards, uh, woke up and I was in a coma for six weeks. Uh, eight broken ribs, three cag vertebrae, ruptured spleen, or it was five broken ribs. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I had to relearn my motor skills. I had to walk and talk. Uh, so that was pre- that was pretty intense. Anyway, so so were you as drinking. big of a per- yeah? I want to throw this out here drinking. It, it, are, are you were you as big of a pervert after your accident as you are now? Yeah. When you go through something like that, like really, life. Uh, when you go through something like that, you live life even harder. So after my accident, I thought I was more invincible. So that's what turned me in. I want to live life and enjoy shit. And so I fucking lived life hard for a while. So cocaine about six and years, chlamydia man. strippers and puking on it was an endless. Shoes. It was an endless night. Every night, it was fucking <laughs> endless nudity, stripper pole. I had a guy that would stay. You had a stripper pole in your house. Well, it was a, it was a pole in the basement. We called it the stripper pole. It wasn't a like. Yeah, it was a pole that dancers used to come, and I'd come home after the bar, three or four in the morning, and wake this guy up and. Yeah, he'd be all, and he was a insurance salesman and that. But uh, that the place was crazy, man. My house, we used to party. All those rock stars would come there. And uh, am I rambling? Fuck, no. I, I'm getting drunk, man. You're just uh, like Brandon's pouring me another. I thought there was a point to your, a drink, to, to your man. story about the car crash, like it was going to lead somewhere. But no, you just wanted to. Did your dog die when you were a kid too? No. Now you got me thinking about that cat fucking video, dude. It's, about. It was the worst Fuck, thing. Man. It's the worst thing. It gave me nightmares. We're drinking, dude. let's enjoy. That cat's face was. Let's be a beat. He looked. He looked so terrified. Fuck uh, no! I got a cat, man. All right. Well, well here's oh. here's a cheers Probably to Brandon. What? Yeah. What do you empty this freaking? No, no. It, Welcome no. to the Valley Boys oh, podcast. Yeah. The Valley Boys podcast to Winnipeg, Actually, you Canada. Guys, Put this out there. You guys are doing pretty good with this cast. For your rookies and that, you know, I was talking to Brandon about it outside, Dave. And I don't like to compliment you because you're such a fucking asshole. Damn right. But you got your chemistry is good. And that's what makes it. That's what makes it. Yeah, we're, we're both pieces of shit in our own way. But uh, unlike the shit that was on your stage, we, we, we actually fit together as a puzzle piece. So, yeah, well, uh, here's oh, being... Brandon, that fucking... Tied that in pretty good. Uh, well, that's what I'm here for. I, I'm, I'm the cleanup guy. Oh, fucking pro. Dave gets on base, I fucking hit it out of the park. I'm not kidding you, Dave. I don't need to promote shit. 
If we get this show, you need to go and promote it. You're going to be getting podcast I offers. I promise I don't you. Fucking in Winnipeg, they're going to be like, no, no, no. Come I don't want to go. I don't care if it's. A, I don't care if they're all. I don't need to go and talk. I feel comfortable with you after you were such a fucking asshole, man. You were like a need, always needling me, man. Yeah, well. But you know what? You you, you back three hundred bucks. You backed up your <laughs> shit. You backed up what you said you were going to do, which is f- fucking admirable. Oh, well, my fine. son has that quality. All right, gentlemen. So uh, last night was the Golden Globes uh, ceremony in Beverly Hills, uh, you know, just a few miles away from here. And uh, his monologue speech is the talk of the town right now. What did you gentlemen happen to think about it? Ricky Gervais is a god in my books, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I agree yeah. With that. yeah. He's just known as Ricky in my household. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what do you think about the fact, though, that he ripped through everybody? He ripped through the pedophiles. He mentioned Good. Jeffrey Epstein. He that mentioned be brought up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like he, yeah, and the fact that like Hollywood isn't as squeaky clean as they like to portray themselves when they preach to the rest of the country yeah. about how you should act and what you should do. I think uh, he was awesome last name. Uh, Dave, what do you think, you cocky bastard? Yeah, yeah, Dave, you uh, Canadian commie. What what's going through your mind right now? Well, I like that he said uh, 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 he's a, he's talking shit about Epstein. What was the quote exactly? No. So he was talking about the show Afterlife and saying uh, he was, you know, giving a description of the show where, like, the lead character's wife died of cancer and he was wanting to kill himself. And he said, but, spoiler alert, season two is coming around, so obviously he didn't kill himself, just like Jeffrey Epstein. (laughs) (laughs) And then everyone started to kind of cheer, boo, that little mix there. And he says, oh, uh, just shut up. He's your friend. You know, stop stop acting like he's not your friend. That's well, what I like. That's the it, funny part. Yeah, that, that, that was hilarious. They got to get to the bottom of that Epstein shit, man. Like, this guy was kidnapping fucking girls. Well, was, well not, oh, not only that, he, he, he he's a very high-profile inmate. He was left... He, he was supposed to be on suicide alert, and then he ended up left alone. The cameras didn't work, and he ends up fucking dead with strangulation marks around the neck and they're like oh he killed himself i was watching i think it was 60 something 20 minutes i don't know 2020 or something the other day yeah and the 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 rope electric it doesn't he's got uh like blood marks where the thing is yeah the the weapon or whatever was used doesn't have any blood on it yeah went around a strangulation there's fucking blood mark i don't know the guy's scummy I, yeah, the guy is Whatever. scummy, but the fact is that they wanted to shut it up so bad. And, and look, I understand this yeah, sounds conspiratorial. Fine, right? this sounds conspiratorial. I'll, I'll I'll acknowledge that. But the fact is, is that everything surrounding his death is suspicious. There's not one thing that like you can say, oh yeah, well that's like straight away, you know, uh, <clears throat> taken care of. And you know, no one wants to acknowledge that fact. Yeah. I'm. Dude, you're feeding me too much fucking liquor. Well, do I sound do I sound Canadian man? after I get drunk? Ah, oh, you feeding me you know too much liquor, bad. I, well, dude, two what minutes in this school curling, eh? Yeah. Well, in fairness, two minutes in this podcast, I was already trying to figure out how I was gonna tra- like transcript your uh, dialogue into uh, English, yeah. American English. What are you talking about? I uh, yeah. No, I, I've I've had to ask you for clarification a few times because I'm like, I, I, I fuck, man, I can't hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, well, when I get a little drunk like this, yeah, the Canadian well, comes out. Yeah, well, well, same thing with Dave. No, when Dave gets drunk, his Canadian comes yeah, out. His Winnipeg comes out, and I laugh at him for it. Um, I, I have a roommate, you know, who's born in Poland, like yeah. lived there to like age five or six, and uh, like she'll she has no problem like reading in Polish shit like that, telling me what shit says. You know, but like you, you, you're straight off the boat, so to speak. You know, from from uh, from Canada, and it's uh, yeah, yeah it, it's a whole other world there. You know, yep, you get, man, and I'm then just, you get I'm the just, liquor in there, and it's like I, every other word, like you can kind of understand. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly you up there because, man, you got to see Winnipeg and what a fucking hole it is now. I no, absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel. You bad. got a passport? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got yeah, a passport. Get a passport. Well, 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 yeah. Well, here's the thing. So, uh, just like you, I got myself a little Dewey. Uh, but it was 2012, no other criminal history, um, and uh, I called the immigration office in Manitoba, and uh, I got a hold of this gal. She had the most uh, beautiful Canadian accent. Like uh, I, w- I would have, you know, if it was a 976 number, I easily would have paid her, you know, 499 <laughs> a minute. And uh, I have a thing for women with the Canadian accent. You know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I see you on Facebook once in a while flirting with your raccoons. 
I was flirting I, with some of these uh, Winnipeg girls. I, yeah, well, yeah, a couple of them blocked me already. Uh, so I, like, Winnipeg's known to have the hottest women around. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, honest yeah. with you. I, 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 they take dumps with the door open. Except, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they fucking dumpster. <laughs> Yeah, you were always a. <laughs> wait, and what's your obsession with having sex with girls by a dumpster? I, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, I've never yeah, done that. Yeah, never yeah, once, yeah. No, never once have I done that. No, Dave Green was telling me something. Oh, because I mentioned it that Some I saw stories. somebody doing that. That's he said it was you. I thought. No, I said. I that. thought he caught you out there you're, with your little wiener. You remember it completely backwards. Hanging out. No, I so. saw it happen, and I texted the owner of the bar, and he was. More concerned, like, hey, what are you doing out there? <laughs> yeah, all right. I wasn't doing it. Jesus. Yeah, you were doing it, dumpster Dave. Uh, Shitty it, dick. Yeah. It, it, just so everyone's Shitty aware dick. that we, uh, we 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 took a break at this point to where uh, uh, we uh, had, had to. Poli- I got. I got to say. Yeah. I've been here an hour, man. Yeah. We polished off this bottle in yeah. an hour. No, no, yeah, you we, guys did. No, no, what are you? And you're doing mostly. You're you. doing. You're fucking sick. You're, actually, you're communicating well. You look like shit, though, bad. But uh, you, uh, you're smoking away. You're sick. You're fucking drinking. Well, and that's you're running what, yourself ragged, right? Mr. But that, but, that, but that's what a good friend I am. So, like, I pound two thirds the bottle myself because I care about his health. You know, so I'm drunk off my ass. Fucking and just, raccoon just, and a weasel. The raccoon and the weasel there. <laughs> you know, just in case you're wondering, uh, you know, what happened in between the uh, the break here. A uh, whole lot of fucking whiskey. Oh, but again, it was much. Canadian Crest just like from... Okay. Hey, so, what did you say? This bottle is $5? Yeah, uh, yeah, five, well, it's on sale for five fifty four. It's normally like $7. Yeah, if you had to pay full price, it'd be seven dollars. So, as a Canadian, how do you feel about Canadian Crest endorsed by John James from Canada? Who the fuck is John? No, it's not on there anymore. Who's it was John? Not, yeah, well, Who it used to John be John James. John James had a drink of it, and he was like, "Get my name off of it." Hey, no, I, John James? I, no, I don't. I, well, we don't know. Yeah, we fucking. I, I bought it. Jesus Christ, See, Dave. You fucking alky. Now that you're becoming a Hollywood comedian, power yeah. player. I should I get shit. you. I should get you this sponsor for your fucking show, your little show here. Should I? No. We'll get a Canadian crest. No. Well, they're yeah, not even fuck. Canadian. I, I've actually bought in shittier whiskey <laughs> that's actually made in Canada, and I won't name them because I, I don't want to shame Canada. Um, but yeah, that, that bottle's made here in the U.S. Normally sells for like seven bucks on sale for like five fifty four. Uh, but right. as a Canadian, how do you feel about it? I don't know. It's getting me drunk. Uh, well, there you go. That's all that fucking Not matters. So fucking that's an endorsement. So Canadian crest fucking uh dirty dick rivers you know what there. i don't drink rye i haven't drank anything but vodka for the past or scotch for the past probably three or four years well that's because me and dave are cultured but, and we're trying to introduce you to you know different uh <laughs> what was that bullshit you had when you were running the bar what you used to have your own bottle at the bar <laughs> how do you know about I got how do fun? i know about that because you, you were snapping your fingers at the bartender you were like when i snap my fingers two times it means bring me a shot and she's what? like, what? And then, uh, Was I that ego? Oh, yeah. And then you were like, when I snap my fingers three times, uh, really? it means mix it with uh, some Diet Coke. Really? Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I was fucking drunk in that bar all the time. But what alcohol was that? It was uh, a little girl. Oh, no, man. not the girl. Wasn't it Jameson? Uh, no, it was, uh, what was that? Way too it was high scotch. It was high-end scotch. Like a 200, what was it, Macallan or something? Oh, I used to keep it. It was a high-end bottle, but actually, I got my liquor license pulled for a couple of days for that because some girl who left work in there when I took it over, she fucking phoned the uh, liquor commission and said, oh, and Dick has his own bottle behind there. So they came in the next day and busted me. It was against the rules. Really? Have your own, yeah, because you got to legally, even if it's you drinking at your own bar, you got to punch in the fucking thing. So this girl who left the bar when I took it over... And fucking, she phoned up the liquor commission because she, she was a manager, and I had to Good. get rid of her. What a cut! I'm glad she did that. What a horrible person. Fuck that bar was a piece of shit. Though, I'm right? glad that she told on you and you got. So in all right, so, fucking oh, okay. So whatever stuff. happened to that bar? Did you sell it? Did you say fuck no? It? I went fucking bleh, tits. I lost a lot of money. So worst business deal. I don't even want to talk about it. Like the, but a lot of people don't know. Basically, I got into a bad business deal, a bad contract. When I bought it, oh, but the guy who owned the bar, I don't even want to mention him, but he had control, so I couldn't change things. He still had 10%, but 
but he had control in the contract. Is his name Brad? Yes, but I don't want to even talk about. Oh shit! Uh oh. Just I don't even if I follow along here. Hey, yeah. Well. Yeah, okay. I know, and, and, I know about this. All right. And this is in. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't, no, you I'm know what? Drunk. It was a mistake on my part. And All right. This was in Winnipeg, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. And uh, how far away from the zoo? Just curious. Uh, opposite. Opposite. opposite end. End. Zoo is like a fucking downtown. That's right in Osborne Dirt Village. Pit. It was like the when you imagine a rock and roll bar in like the 80s, 90s. Yeah. Dirty, fucking grungy, but great fucking people, man. Like a... Right, but you could take a shit in either bar, and everyone would like, ah, oh, this yeah, is normal, you, you know. Like, I, yeah, they, yeah. Maybe, okay. you know, if you okay. see someone banging someone in the coat room, it was like, like normal. All yeah. right, if, good okay. for him. He's got nowhere to bang. Bang in the fucking coat room. Dick's bar was in St. James, which is uh, suburbia. Uh, okay, and then where was the zoo? Just down Osborne in the, Village, like uh, in the middle of the shit. Okay, fair yeah. enough. A- anyhow, continue, sir. So, uh, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. We're talking fuck? about the, so we're talking about the, uh, the sale of your bar ultimately. Cause you oh no, I just out. lost a lot of money and it was a bad time in my life. Let's talk about your failed pizza business. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the failed pizza business is not failed. I heard that was good. It was before my time. It was, it was before I was pizza? even born 35 years ago, but I heard it wasn't that good, so. it, it was, uh, it was good pizza. It was fucking really good. I, that's an, uh, that was my biggest money making venture. So why isn't it still? Why aren't you Papa John? Look, man, why, why am I not dick? doing a podcast? Yeah, I, I don't know. You gotta have the passion to do it. Like I come here, this is fun, but when you do it consistently over and over, it's a like, it's a job, and you got to be that mentality. So how long did the pizza place last? Oh, six, probably five, six years. Voted, voted that number, long? voted number one for five years. Voted number one pizza in Winnipeg for five years. Did you only have one location? Yep. Uh, I had a second location, but uh, it's too much work. I only had a second location. And that months. shit out because. Okay. In one year, I. Uh, Cheat on your taxes. No, 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 no. I, no, I've always paid my taxes. In one year, I lost my job at power. I, it was a cocaine. Oh, Do I want to? Yeah, basically in a year. Cocaine I had a kid. The kid left me. That was the number one priority. Uh, and then I just went squirrely after my ex left and took my kid. And basically, that's when I went Whoa, nuts for a while. And that's when I put cocaine on the pizza. Yeah. No, no, I never put fucking cocaine on the pizza. The pizza was fucking good. And it made me a lot of money. But uh, were you in that by yourself? Yeah, me. Mm. So you, you know how much I started for? How much? I think I put in. I got loans and stuff, so I did it. But I think I basically started it for like four hundred bucks. No shit. I got the financing. Yeah, but it was a lot of work. But it made me money. But uh, when your name's on a product and it's built up to something, you know, I I, I I was worried about every pizza coming out of there being really good. I just wanted really good pizza. So it's a lot of work to be able to do that and do it now. I don't have the passion for it. Fuck, I did it. That's it. You know. If someone if someone is listening and wants to run it, I'll finance it. But they got to be good guys and work hard. And put cocaine on the pizza. No, fuck that's your signature thief, ingredient. Thief. Uh, okay, so I'm sorry. He doesn't thief, want me to tell his secret thief. ingredient. Uh, so, so I got. I, I, I was just getting comfortable with you and letting the shit story go. And you know, you're actually a good guy when it comes down to it. Oh, now he's but yeah, you're he's a dirt drunk. Hole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why he's letting the feelings flow. I am, man. You guys uh, are okay, so here, here's the question me. I have. So you got fired from uh, Power 97 for cocaine. You got fired from the, the pizza place because of cocaine. No, not it, fired. I owned the pizza owned place. I just, you know what? I got fired that year, and then I just... I wasn't motivated. I sat in my house with a lot of money and not... And once I lost my kid... And then I didn't care about my job. <laughs> you lost your kid in a divorce. Well, no, she was not, a, did yeah, you lose yeah, your kid yeah. in a poker game? No, not in a poker game. But he, <laughs> he just Careful how you phrase that. Okay, so... I it, lost it, my kid. Well, I okay, mean... So our accident? No. Yeah, my wife, I was an orangutan crazy bastard, and then she left me. And actually, he's the number one priority in my life. That's why I probably don't do broadcasting. He's 18 now. Yeah, he's an old man. You, I saw him. 
you have like you know, maybe lit a fire under me from the last time talking about this. Maybe I'll do a podcast. I don't know. That's the plan. Uh, all right. So everybody in you America, should. you know, uh, just wondering though, like, uh, so as far as like this type of shit happening in Winnipeg, if you live in like I don't know, like southern Mississippi or Alabama or West Virginia or some shit, and this shit happens, like. Th- th- this is normal you know so like this happening in winnipeg it- it- it's normal for winnipeg so yeah th- that's that's basically the the translation to to america yeah you know what winnipeg there's no difference it basically winnipeg it's a scum hole and but it's kind of like minneapolis or montana or you know a, a mini, yeah, Minneapolis is a town. fine city, sir. It's no don't, don't you don't you degree that? It's part not like of you, a rich Hollywood guy sitting out here. Hey, I was I was Ooh. I was born in Iowa. I'll have you know. I, I was uh, yeah, I was born in farm country, sir. But yeah, oh. out here in L.A., everyone wants to fucking do something for. Well, nothing. I'm glad you're running this show and uh, teaching my young kid, uh, my young uh, buddy Dave. Well, I'm I'm the, trying uh, I'm trying to do on I track, can. and I'm glad Dave's your oh, assistant yeah. because Brandon, you oh, yeah. would not be much. Without Dave, you know, at, well, I'll be making yeah, his appointments. Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're always, yeah, you know, yeah, f- fair enough. It's like, hey, show up and uh, talk a whole bunch of shit and drink on this day. I'm like, I, well, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Talk to talk to the boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, Dave, man, like, so I come here. I'm sitting in L.A. Your backyard, hanging out by a pool. You got this basically by ripping my fucking shit. Prank the calls. fuck are you talking you, about? You got what this the by, fuck are you talking about ripping you off ripped my shit? Uh, settle down. I show up at a radio j- station j- coked out of my fucking no, tail. No, no, no. <laughs> j- gentlemen, like, gentlemen. You remember. You got to say I was an influence on you. Absolutely How not. No. You def- if you were an influence the way a cautionary Dave, tale would be. Dave, you served as a, you, as a you don't made do a this career. influence You're in this. Me. No, I You're did not. You're down here. There you basically ripped you off my prank calls. This was was awesome. I a prank calls? The prank calls you thought I ripped you off on? Oh. Now? No So do you have way. the number one prank call CD? I did. Did you? Yeah. Did you yeah, I, wonder, I don't know. I what told is, myself. I don't know. Never, I don't know if I had. Uh, according was, to Billboard.com, I did have the number yeah. one prank phone call CD. Four or five, five weeks. Oh. Yeah. And so by you the way, good, by the way, good Dick, profiting off my shtick? Profiting. Oh, okay. Basically, Your you stole my stick. Oh, okay, well, 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 okay. That, that, this has been going on uh, way before right. you, way before even me. All right, by right, the way, well, I was making prank calls since elementary school. Come on, you got, you I got was imitating admit. the jerky boys. You got oh, admit. If oh, anybody, you got admit. I was an influence. You used to no. listen to me on the radio. Uh, all right, okay. Got, so, Dave, so, so, dirty, dirty dick, no, dirty, dirty dick. But you've got to say, so dirty what? dick. They're where, dirty where dick. Where did you hear your first prank call? Jerky boys. Bullshit. Jerky oh. boys, Dick Rivers, and then no, no uh-huh. it, it, absolutely. I didn't hear you until you were an adult. Until uh-huh. I was an adult, and you gave me your uh-huh. stupid. Oh, okay, the wiener. So CD. just actually, just, I'm not. There was a better CD than all right, that one. All right, There's so a just, way just a play anyway. mediator on this. Benefit of the doubt. Yeah, Dirty Dick Rivers. Where did you hear your first prank call? Uh, I actually did my first prank call. A better question. But where, I remember where, where, where did you do your first prank call then? Uh, it was my mom actually. I like what year? So I was drunk. I was mom. sixteen. Okay, I, this actually, I was drunk. Sixteen. With I hit. I hit a house with a vehicle. Okay, I ran into a house. So, anyways, I had to go to <laughs> court. <laughs> it's a long. That's another long story. But Jesus. So Christ. I ran into a house two months after I turned sixteen and drove my truck into a house drunk. I was leaving a part. Anyways, Fuck so me. I was going to court and I. I thought, "Fuck!" I'll play up to my mom. So I was going to court and I got two tickets that day. But I was in school and I phoned my mom at work and I was like, I'm scared. I think I'm going, uh, they're going to put me in jail for drinking and driving and hitting this house. So I phoned up my mom at her nursing home. She worked at a nursing home. I said I was Constable O'Leary from the or from the Saskatoon City Police. And I said, your son is going to Kingston Prison because in court today he spit at the court clerk and punched the judge. <laughs> but I uh, I changed my voice. I said, hey, I'm Constable O'Leary, but... So, anyways, the last thing I heard, it was like a joke to say, ah, I just got two tickets, but yeah. I went too far. I heard her scream, and then the phone fucking dropped, and she ran away. So, I phoned the nursing home back. And She's she, in a nursing home, and you No, no, no. She was working, like, oh. cleaning rooms or whatever <laughs> in the nursing home. And so, so, then she drove, she went immediately, dropped the phone, left work, didn't say... So when I phoned back to the nursing home and I was going to go, ah, that was just a joke, mom. She already got in her car and went down to the police station because she thought I was in jail. 
So I had to drive down to the police station and say, hey, Mom, and she was freaking out at the front desk. My baby boy's in jail. Uh, so I don't know if that. So my, I, I stole that drunk? from you? I stole that no, from no, you? No, no, no. That was my first prank call I ever did. I, uh, I ever. In fairness, I asked about his first prank he call. Did. So if no, he's, that he, was the one you, you asked? That was listen, what you asked. Okay. Where did he get listen it from? to me. You oh, okay. All right. All right. Fucking derailed. Oh, okay. In, in fairness to Dave, I did ask, like, you know, when's the first time that, like, yeah, you made your first prank call, like Jerky Boy style and shit like that, like where where you were doing oh, it for money and man. shit. Uh, By the way, the Jerky Boys radio. are coming back. Oh, I like the fuck. Jerky are boys, they? Man, they're great. They're great. They're, they're coming good. back. Johnny oh, Brandon himself. Milky liquor. Oh, told fuck. Me. Milky liquor. I know those guys are good, man. Dude, and Dave, not be a Dave but, but, but Dave, you got to admit, big influence right here. Absolutely not. Big no. influence on you. You're a cautionary tale. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay. and you didn't pay attention? I I was already doing that shit way before I met this dude and knew about his CDs. Actually, or uh, he's... But uh, yeah, one time he got all I'm drunk. I'm busting his balls. After I, was, after I hit number I'm one, you know how it balls. goes. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I remember one comedy album five weeks in a row. Actually, and good and for you. Dick Rivers fucking drunk. Like we're talking, it's <laughs> one o'clock <laughs> L.A. time, so it's three o'clock his time. Right. And he's just typing like how he talks. He's like, bitch. Oh, hey yeah, there, bud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, you, f- you, fuck you there, bud. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, you stole my idea. You fuck. No, no <laughs> idea. I was busting your balls. Then everybody thought I was. I like, was like, what the? You, yeah. you thought I was a man. Oh, fuck. Good for yeah. you, man. I, in all honesty, good for you. But you got to admit I was an influence on you. I will not admit that because yeah. it's not true. Oh, okay. So I asked this earlier, and shit. I still want to fucking know now. Shit. Yeah, fu- no, fuck you and fuck you. Fuck both of <laughs> you. All right. So where did you guys uh, first meet? That's what I want to know. It's what I asked earlier. Man, I, I want to know now. He was like a... Where did you first meet? He was like a... Dave was like a fucking fungus at my bar. Okay. Right? It was like, where, oh, if we no. do this TV show, there's going to be a reoccurring character that just fucking... Like well, a oh, okay, so like a friend of me. Man. All right, so when's the first time you him, remember? Like when's the first time you remember? I was remem- like a teenager then. Shut the fuck up, Dave. I know Dave. you were such a little. Shut asshole. the fuck up, Dick. When's the <laughs> Dick? When's the first time you remember meeting Dave? When did that happen? There, you, when I look back, I don't know. It's bad, kind of a gradual thing. He was just a guy, kind of always around. But I do my first real talking with him. Yeah, was a meeting to where this little guy had kind of balls, and I wanted to get rid of this. But he came and showed up on time, and he was actually professional. And it, you know, he, uh, I, I said, you can have the bar. Give me ten grand. It's yours. So I was trying to unload my problems on him, but I thought maybe he could do a better job at D- Dylan's. But that's the first real memory. Oh, okay, all right, Dave. Where's your first memory of meeting him? Well, was it was it in Osborne S- Village. There was a back alley. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I heard this the clear sound of public urination, you know? <laughs> and I turn a corner and I see this uh, woman uh, peeing. And I was like, oh, ma'am, you can't do that. And it was him. It was him. <laughs> he was You're just squatting down. Man. He was squatting while he was peeing. <laughs> and he's like, That's good, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know what you know. Fucking <laughs> babe. I was like, what does that mean? I don't know what I know. And that's just what he kept saying. You don't know what you know. So, so what, you asked for his phone number at that point? You're like, no. Oh, this is someone I need to Dave, collaborate you, with. You used to book the Senior Dinosaur, though. Didn't you? Or was it Dylan? Hold on. Dylan played the open... But it was your band, basically. Right? You, were you the leader of that band? Yeah, I guess. You were the head pooper? I was the head pooper. <laughs> I was yeah. the singer and guitarist. Okay. You, know, you know what? You guys were pretty. You guys weren't a bad band. Oh, okay, so like, what happened during that exchange to where you're like, oh, we need to work together or whatnot? There was never a there was never a more until never a moment. There was that time where yeah, he was like, "Hey, uh, I got a business opportunity for you." For you. Like, <laughs> while while time. while he was taking a shit and pissing in the alley like a like a yeah. woman or what? No, it was way after that. It was uh, years <laughs> after that. Yeah. Was, was, okay, all was, right. So my band was playing at his bar because he owned the neighborhood bar that we lived in. Okay, and that was he didn't own it yet. He took over the ownership, and then it was like, oh fuck. Dick Rivers owns this place. Okay, now. so you first met and him I, when he was straight pit- up. I was the worst bar owner in the 
fucking history. Yeah, you don't pay your well, well, this, well, dude, well, I had no... I was running out of money. You were just saying I didn't earlier, have money. I, I made so much money, money that night. Support. Children, children, children. All right, so you first dude. met him when he was pissing shit in the alley, and then, like, that was it until you actually booked a gig in his bar, and that's when you guys first started talking about, like... All right, now we now now we need to start like you know working together to make money. And shit. Dave Dave was always cool. I had a good relationship with Dave. Yeah, but then there was times he would be such a fucking asshole, and he would go right on my fucking stage. I remember this. Yeah. But he would just shit talk me in front of. He'd be nice to my face. Oh, okay. Hey, so oh yeah, wh- wh- no, prank wh- calls, oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. And then he'd go yeah. on stage and be uh, a uh, fucking uh, yeah. asshole. All right, yeah, so, I remember that. All right, so playing Jerry, happened. so playing Jerry Springer here. What are some of your favorite uh, names that he called you? I don't he even know. Remember. They're too fucking. He doesn't vile. remember. Uh, no, no, not in this podcast. Well, yeah, believe me, the well, no, shit we've already like, talked I, about. I choose not to remember that. He has a fucking fat asshole. I never called you fat. I never called you fat. I was way more creative than that. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah, so I made Dave, fun of him on, on the stage of his own bar. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't go. You, what, what name? you that. came into my You were mad that he everybody signed. laughed at it. That's why you're mad. No, 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 no. But you're that drunk asshole in the corner. I don't. I like. I don't mind when you make fun of me. Now, <laughs> all right, all right. You're so my stage, oh, my right. fucking bar. Okay, yeah. hold, on, hold on, Dave. What what was your favorite creative name that you had for fucking Dirty Dick Rivers over here? I gotta say, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I know that's a huge disappointment, but I. Oh. It was in the moment. All right, Dave. It was in my youth. What, what's the dirtiest name you remember him calling you? Just, just out of curiosity. I don't like know. The, the, the yeah, people want to know. I don't remember a specific here, name. Ah, uh, fuck. We were both f- very drunk. Uh, yeah. uh, well, that, he is the performer. Him is the you know ah, professional. Well, that's a very Canadian thing to do. Ah, Dave. All right. <laughs> All right. I will say it was vulgar. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm in my uh, own place, like that's why I didn't pay you. Well, how no, would that, no, no. Thing. Again, for the fifth time, it's because as soon as I got there, you were like, "By the way, I'm not paying you. I can't charge you soldiers' cover." Well, well that how in that? Sense. How in the to hell? Me, that doesn't make sense. How, why would I fucking get a ban on? Why would you even play? How, how in the hell? Neither that's of what, you. Why the, would you fucking play? How so I can make fun of you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like, well, right. if I'm not gonna get paid, I'm gonna get <laughs> paid <laughs> and make fun one. of you. God, and, and I did, and everybody loved it. Everybody all those soldiers, going. all those soldiers were like, "My God, that's oh. so accurate." Who's this Dick Rivers guy? That was Look not, at that piece of shit. I think that was about a fifteen thousand dollar day. All right, all right. So how in right. hell neither of you guys ended up in jail? I'll never know, but uh, I, I would like to know what would happen if. Uh, that's our hypothetical. Good segue, Brandon. Hey. So our hypothetical this week comes from Jason. He wants to know what would happen if Dave and Brandon and Dick. Hey, I'm just here. Yeah, will, yeah since uh, he's here. Uh, what would happen if you guys went to prison and what would your roles be to survive? So if we went to jail, how would we Dave, survive? you'd be a twink. Okay. Well, well, <laughs> would you be a right twink? Dave, hey, uh, you'd be a bear. Me, I'd be running the shit. Whoa, 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 no, no. We have to oh, be running the wheel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm way too fat to be a twink. Hold on, Dave. I'm way too fat to be a twink. No, Ari. No, we got to. Okay. You'd be gotta, pretty twinky. I'm okay. like an otter. Okay. I'm we, not a bear. Uh, no, no, no. We, we got to figure out that together. All twink. right. So, Dirty Dick and. Uh, I'd be running shit. All right. Dirty Wood, as much as I hate him, he would be in charge of shit. He'd be making potato vodka. Okay, fine. So, Dirty Dick and Dirty Dave are in charge. What would my role be in jail? I wouldn't be in charge. No, 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 no. Like, you let, know let's what? say you would be my assistant. Okay. All right. Dave would be getting railed in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's how I see it. Well, uh, I don't okay. know, man. Between, I see we all got a bunch of titties here, so I think we'd all I, be I, a. I got the we'd one. we'd all be a welcome sight in prison. Yeah. yeah, but but you're about you're about 180 pounds. I'm about 265. You know, Dick, I don't, Dick's I don't just think pretty I could take man. it in the ass. I don't think I could ever. I don't think I would survive that. Yeah, like if anyone you don't have a choice. Well, if anyone's getting yeah, railed in the have, ass, it's going to be the guy that weighs about uh, eighty Dave, pounds less Dave than the rest of us. Smiling. It, yeah. I think you like it, this. Yeah, Dave. You like the thought of you're, you're going to be the prison bitch Dave, first, buddy. Smiling. <laughs> yeah. I'm smiling because smiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not smiling. I'm laughing Dave's internally at what my dad said. My dad said something when I started getting fat. And he squeezed my tits. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad is a cop. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> he says, wow, if you ever go to prison, we know how you'll get your cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dad. I, I, so what about me? Let, let, you know, like what's going to happen to me? Then? I don't know. I don't, you're, you're, you're too big to fuck with, I think. 
Like, you I, know I'm what? You have a nice personality. I think you'd be the guy kind of everybody would like. Brandon. Right, right but I like, if I, be, but if I had to fight, I could. Like, like I'm two sixty. Yeah, I'm six foot. I'm two sixty five. Like, I'm not classically trained. Like, you know how to see, wrestle. You don't look two sixty five. Oh, oh, thank you, sweetie. But uh, yeah, so like, I'm not classically trained to fight, but I can wrestle. Like, I was trained to wrestle, so I can do that. So I can take someone to the ground. I can humiliate them and let them know that in the eyes of everybody else in the prison population, Gen Pop, mm-hmm. as the uh, kids like to say these days, that they will be the prison bitch. You yeah. know. I, I uh, wrestling. I think Dave would be wrestling a cock in his ass. <laughs> Go right for that. Ah, no, I'd be in the library. I'd be the guy I'm, getting a, an economics degree or something. You know. Actually, you would. You that, would that figure out. Me. You would figure out a way to get out of. You would probably read books and figure out a fucking damn right. You're like, you're like a kind of like a cockroach. And then just like shall I say, you'll redemption, figure out you would, uh, hey. you, what you would do. You would figure out how to make make wine uh, in the I, toilet. I, I, you'd I'd be, sell it. You'd be making <laughs> toilet wine sell it. and drinking most of it though. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, okay. Know. So fine. So he's the kingpin. I'm the muscle. You're the fucking brains. <laughs> I think. I think. I think, I think that I, answers that question. The yeah. kingpin's not necessarily the brains. Yeah, the brains you're right. Of the operation. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, yeah, Dave, yeah, Dave's okay the one that. that keeps everybody in line uh, mentally. I'm the one that keeps everyone that. in line physically. You're the one that like sets all this shit up. You're, you're, you're. I don't want to do the dirty work. You guys got to do the. Dirty work. No, that's fine, and that's what we're here I think for. All three of us could survive, just as long as nobody gets raped. Like that's the idea here. The idea. Yeah, well, I don't want to survive. I don't means, think right? I yeah. survive. I know Dave. Dave would with a smile on his face. So I was smiling, I like I said, because my dad said something fucking weird. I, no, no. If we have to sacrifice anyone, it's going to be Dave, but oh, like yeah, you know, the two of us. Dave's the yeah. probably the skinniest and the prettiest. Yeah, I'm we'll all we'll all make sure you get some lube. Like uh, we'll we'll make sure it doesn't happen yeah. without lube God because damn. we I care about you. I would sit back and laugh and fucking shower. assholes. I would love to sit back. Well, 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 well that's exactly what will happen. You, you you would love to see that. Dave? <laughs> you know Is that what? Because I would like to go. Me? Uh, yeah, I would just like to see you just for a second. Jesus. Man, I had no, no, because one, that would I had no idea you were and such I would say, a pervert. Finally, this little shit's getting his payback. What a pervert you are. Yeah. I had no idea. Well, actually, I kind of had an idea <laughs> after that toast story, you sick fuck. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that, that was pretty fun. So, what like. did we do to get in prison? There's two scenarios. Uh, you, public defecation. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? You don't go to jail for that. You don't go to jail for that anyway. But yeah, what about Brandon? Yeah, 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 what about Braccoon over Ooh. here? Second DUI? They'd be breaking in. Like raccoons. Raccoon, oh, yeah, yeah, raccoons like breaking in, stealing shit. Yeah, he be, Yeah, they're breaking into something. Some Tinder girl didn't message him back, so he's <laughs> fuck, fucking crawling through a window. Never, yeah, and that, they're garbage, you know? That, 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 <laughs> that's not a euphemism either. Yeah. He's just like literally eating trash. Yeah, that, that sounds accurate. I won't argue yeah, that. Okay, okay, now, Dirty Dick, what did you get in jail for? Back child support. <laughs> Uh, cocaine Listen, abuse. Uh, my, uh, there was Drunk a time, in public. There was a time uh, I had the, some, I was, was broke and I couldn't afford child support, but all my back pay's done, Dave. Fucking ass. What are you bringing up this personal shit? I, that's what someone messaged me. Yeah, well, like they I don't said, know what the fuck. Yeah, well, I, I agree. I do know. My your, kid's my number one priority. I, and I, I that's why I didn't broadcast. That. I will 100% vouch for that. And your kid's uh, an adult now and he loves you. Yeah, man. He's a good uh, guy. Brandon, Jesus, stop that. I'm going to fucking puke. Uh, sorry. No, no I got I to gotta take a piss. I'll be back. Yeah, he's just going to. You notice how he doesn't go uh, to the bathroom? He just pees wherever he wants in my back. Fuck, man. We polished that bottle off. And then. And you know funny? I don't know how. Long Here's the thing. I barely had any. You guys really? drank all that, I yeah. That's why been, you. That's why I you feel so drunk. drunk. It's because you drank half of that. And well, I think he's been pouring half. it in my drink. He went to take a piss. Yeah, he's peeing wow. on the wall. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit! So anyways, like, look at you. You're a fucking uh, L.A. big fucking pool mansion. The guy's pissing on your wall. It's not a mansion, but yeah, it's a. Well, I got, I got a wall. I gotta uh, build the wall. Keep that my retired neighbor out. You know, the fuck keep you in this country. I do see possums here all the time. Yeah? Yeah, they run around. It's so gross. I hate possums, dude. They're eating the cat food, and uh, oh, and I, I was so mad at that because that's for the cats, you know? And and I went out there, and I, I, I went to hit the, not hit them, but move them. Yeah. Move the possum with a broom, and he just, he wouldn't move. He just opened he his mouth. Sat there like a little bat. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you pathetic. You're so pathetic. Yeah. 
No wonder your species is garbage. Brandon, what? I was watching you piss over there, and the mic probably didn't pick. But you're moaning to yourself when you're pissing. Why were you watching? Oh, well, okay. not why. Well, I wasn't yeah, watching. Yeah. You just but said I, I was watching there, the piss. He's taking a piss <laughs> on the fucking wall. You had an album called Squeeze the Wiener, touching. and you're Dude, talking about I, watching guys piss. Do, uh, Holy have you, shit. Have you, well, I, do I see the guy? I'm sitting right here. It's yeah. kind of hard to... D- has your teeth fucking, never been swimming? You guys are fucking pirates. A- has your teeth never been swimming before? You're like, I got Oh, it. yeah, back teeth floating. They yeah, 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 okay. Uh, here's a, uh, yeah, back teeth yeah, floating. Yeah, I fucking tell that to all the people my age. I have no idea yeah, what I'm talking about. I tell the Dirty me, Dick Rivers at 50 years old. He understands what I'm talking about. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you my fucking feel old. Bro. Yeah, well, well, I'm, I'm fucking old. You know, my goddamn teeth were floating. I had to take a piss, mm. man. Like, uh, otherwise, it was going to be a piss. Good for you. I wouldn't yeah, expect the fucking raccoon to fucking go in the bathroom. You go outside. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what a raccoon does. I'm a fucking ringtail. That sounds racial. Yeah, or 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 some kind of sexual deviant. Yeah, I'm into ringtailing. <laughs> fucking dirty. It, well, it was, dirty. Well, it, depending on the feedback we get on uh on uh, Twitter this week on our podcast. Uh, What's the deal with Twitter? I've never been on Twitter. It's, it sounds like a bunch of fucking people. It's horrible. Whining and fucking. If I you've been on Facebook, like it's like ten times worse. Yeah, you can kind of control your. Yeah, Facebook like because Facebook, it's like all right, you know, it's like ah, my friends, my family, and all that. Twitter, you end up like following and being been followed been by Twitter. people that like, I yeah, you have no work. fucking clue over. And then by the time they start commenting on your shit, and you're like, what the fuck have I gotten myself into? And uh, it, it's just a yeah, it's just giant shit wreck, is what it is. All right, fuck this shit. Episode four is in the bag. We're done. I'm done. Yeah, man. Let's go to the bar. I'm fucking done with you guys. You guys, you, know, you guys go to the bar. I'm going somewhere else to forget that you guys exist. Uh, Dave, what, what, what day we love you? I gotta. I gotta use your bathroom. <laughs> well, you gotta go outside. I know. You didn't see what Brandon I want to lay a three coiler right oh, in there. No, no, no. <laughs> right in your mat. Fuck. Come on. You're not even letting me in your house. Yeah, you get only only to come in and out of the backyard. All right. All right. Anyways, this is the Valley bar. Boys. Thanks for listening. With our guest Dick Rivers, all the way from Winnipeg, Canada, made it. Dirty to Dick Rivers. Thanks. Fuck off. As well as my uh, what are you sidekick Brandon Collins? Uh, I, I know he's drunk because I'm the sidekick this week, so that's fucking awesome. No, I already take it. explained it at the beginning how you're the sidekick because Dick is the assistant until he pays off that three hundred bucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yeah, how much am I? I'm drunk now. I'm in a good mood. What do you want me to? Yeah, there's a couple leaves in your pool. Yo, that whole pool is disgusting. You can clean that whole thing out and unlock ten bucks off. Uh. <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> Woo! Fuck, he's going to do it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we're the Valley Boys. Thanks for listening. See you next week. Bye-bye.